Let me take you back to what was known as Bank Corner on February 19, 1942. You're standing in the Bank of New South Wales, as it was known. Across the road is the Commonwealth Bank. It's another double-storied building. Tellers are in the middle of paying the Air Force their wages. Suddenly, an air raid siren rings and orders are shouted for everyone to run for the trenches. Coins and notes are swept up and dozens of people clamber out the doors into the trenches. Machine gun bullets whiz past and into the Bank of New South Wales walls and windows. A bomber zooms above and plants a direct hit on this building. Now look at the display in front of you, the bullet marks in the plaque. It's a clear image of the Japanese forces' attempts to blast anything and everything they could. The manager of the Commonwealth Bank wrote a three-page report to headquarters about the events of February 19. I desire to furnish a full report on the circumstances causing the evacuation of Darwin Branch. The Navy had been paid and the tellers were rushed in the midst of paying the Air Force. Cash ledgers and records were rushed into the strong room, including the Air Force cash and bags and the office cleared. I had previously rehearsed clearing the office and the staff occupied their positions in the slit trenches without a hitch. But when I arrived after locking the strong room, I found our trenches constructed to accommodate 20 had been rushed and occupied by 48 people, including natives and Chinese. The first raid lasted under an hour and the senior staff returned to the office and took the Air Force cash back into account and balanced the cash. We left Darwin at about 1am and arrived at Adelaide River at 8am. We were travelling with parking lights only and narrowly avoided several collisions with convoys of military trucks travelling in the opposite direction. We saw numerous cars and trucks smashed up along the road and many bogged. On the 20th, we loaded our truck on a flat-topped evacuee train. We slept and travelled on top of the truck, taking turns on guard. As we travelled in shorts, the heat was almost unbearable and our faces, lips, legs and arms were severely burnt and blistered when we arrived at Alice Springs on Tuesday the 24th. To the staff, I am grateful for their loyalty, cooperation, help and conduct under the very trying experience and their baptism of fire. Meanwhile, at the Bank of New South Wales... They took what they had to take, uh, which was the, the coin and the notes, what they thought people would loot. Everything else was left, uh, the desks, their pens, you name it. Uh, the bank officers, as they were called in those days, were simply armed, as they quite often were, uh, and uh, they made their way out of the city onto the Stewart Highway, and uh, quite often, of course, they, they never came back. For the rest of the war, the banks relocated to Alice Springs, and it wasn't until years later that this building was finally renovated 